Hello everyone, this is Quiversy. Welcome back to Sonic Generations. Last time, the rooftop run challenge gates were complete, leaving only one world left. Nine challenge gates left to play total. Ten that need to be S-ranked because I didn't S-rank the one I played here already. Planet Wisp. Let's get started with the doppelganger race for Classic Sonic. I am definitely worried about these doppelganger races. And that six minute timer up there somehow doesn't make me feel any better. I'm just gonna start over when I make a mistake that dumb. Wait, oh wait, no, 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 I remember one thing I need to do with this one. Oh, no, no, no. I know I'm starting over after every first move here, but too soon. I remember a trick for this one. Ah, there we go. I don't care that I got hurt there. That was still a big boost. Like I said, I am scared of these stages in case that wasn't really obvious. <sighs> okay. No, no, no. I want to take the upper path. All right. Well, I'm on fire now. And you know what? I couldn't care less. We go this way. Uh, grab that wisp. I don't know what happened there. But it certainly happened. I could really use some rings. Just keep rolling, just keep rolling. Oh, thank goodness, rings. Okay. I think I'm doing all right for time. I honestly don't have much of a bearing on that. But for now, I'm going to assume I'm doing acceptable. Couldn't make it up there because I wasted wasted their energy. Those platforms. I mean, here's the thing. This says we're halfway through the stage. And I haven't even gone two minutes. But with a timer like six minutes, I know not to trust anything. Care. One of the good things about the classic version of this stage is that getting hit in spike form doesn't seem to have any impact whatsoever on stunning me. So even though I lose rings, I don't get stunned. Hopefully I can actually manage to keep myself in spike form long enough for that to mean something going forward. Right now though, it's looking like I'm just gonna be struggling to survive. Yeah, similar to Crisis City. That's one of my biggest fears in this stage. Maybe that's one reason the timer is so high. Because they know how hard it is to just not die. Or maybe it's just that high because they know that some stuff here takes a while, which it does. Though that was a pretty helpful move. All right, we are back on the spike train. I wasn't supposed to go that way. I need to go not that way. That way. Zoop. Okay, I kind of remember where we are. There we go. Yes, this is where we can start actually chaining spike upgrades together. Speed spikes! And spikes are gone. Spikes are back! Zoom. Keep zooming. Okay, now we're at this bit. Alright, one. Two. Three. Recharge the spike. Zoom! 
We are at four minutes and ten seconds. I think we are actually still on track to get that S rank. But I really don't know. Wait, we're getting to the outside of the factory now. Yeah, we're definitely on track. We're going to get that S rank. I can feel it. We almost landed the S rank while in spike form. We had a minute and 20 seconds left to hit it. That was very generous. Wow. I did not expect it to be that kind. Go post juggle two. Okay, sure, why not? Let's do this again. So. Oh, nope. Keep it moving, keep it moving. So I have two minutes for this one. Am I gonna have any spike powers for this? Or am I just juggling? Right now it seems like I'm just juggling. Oh. Yeah, that's right. I see that clock down there. And I got it, too. Uh oh. Wait for it. Now. Bounce it over. For it. <laughs> yep. Uh oh. Land. I'm glad that it has a bit of time to just kind of spin around before it sticks in the ground. Hmm. Otherwise, I would have lost it, like, three times over by now. Uh oh. Knock it, 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 knock Good! Oh! It doesn't actually make you lose. It's a time penalty. That is... oddly generous. I'm constantly surprised by how generous this game is with, uh, some of these challenges. And how brutal it is with others. All right. It's in the goal zone. Just let it plant. And we've done it. Speaking of generosity, that was also a very generous timer. Even without the clock and still getting the penalty, I would have made that and then some. Uh, let's... There we go. <laughs> let's say let's wait for it. And it's like, oh, yeah, I don't even need to wait that long. Blaze the cat, huh? Chase after Blaze. Try to catch Blaze before time runs out, but watch out for bombs. Ah, oh, a genuine race. Oh, and we got spikes too. Interesting. Wait, 40 seconds is the timer? That is the smallest timer we've ever had. Where is this stupid cat anyway? Down there? Where am I supposed to go? Oh my Lord, this is a maze. A maze where we need to find Blaze. Up, uh, get on the thing, Sonic. That was odd. There is. Sh How do I get over there? I see you! Mm. Ah, dang it. I almost had her. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna start over. I, I, I was really misinterpreting what was expected of me there for a bit. But now I think I got a better grasp of what needs to be done. go the correct way this time. <laughs> oh, man. I almost had her. <sighs> Dang it. She tricked me. I turned off my 
my spikes on purpose there. This is a neat idea. I did not turn my spikes off that time. Huh. Ooh, that might be helpful. What the heck? I wanted to go the other way. Right. I get you. Okay. Gotcha! Whew! I had to actually kind of trick her and trap her there. Again, cool idea. And unlike some of the other cool ideas this game has had, that one actually felt like it worked. Uh, where is the thingy? Where's the thingy? There it is. Cool. Okay, rescue the animals too. Okay, it's another one of these challenges. Rescuing the animals from the capsules. And we got seesaws. Okay. Oh, and we got... We got the return of that spawn of my nightmares. I am going to just pretend it doesn't exist. It is for my own sanity. Oh, what? Why did you bounce so far backwards? What the heck? Weird. Okay, grab that. Grab those. And I guess I'm going this way. Also, I've just now noticed I've got a minute 40 to do this whole thing. And I have to get a hundred of these animals. 14 animals per case. Oh, don't need 10 cases, at least. I only need like what? Eight? Seven? Eight. I need eight. And that was only case number four, so I need four more. Huh? There's two right here. Boom. Boom. And so far, I haven't really had to go out of my way for more than just, like, one of them. Which is pretty good. And I missed one. It would not let me jump up to get that one. Which is unfortunate. There's another one I missed. So there's exactly enough. Oh wait, no. 98 out of 100. I only missed, I don't, I don't need to get all of them. I need to get all but one. Luckily I did manage to make the clear time for an S rank without too much hassle. So this won't be too bad. That being said, unlike the others, the clear time isn't overly generous. It is just... It is just right. I say, and then I do that. Oops. Don't mess that up again, at least. All right, I am going to skip that one. That one takes a little bit of extra time to get. And all the others that I needed to get that I didn't, won't. As long as I don't miss either one, we're golden. Thank goodness for the invincibility. Uh, excuse me, Sonic? Okay, well, that might have cost me this uh, S rank. I'm not sure. Let's just keep going. Ride the upper path, ride the upper path. Don't miss this capsule. Don't get bombed. And don't get the thing. Wait a minute. Oh, oh come on! That's not enough. Okay, this might be harder than I thought. Like, did they really have to add the sprinkler? Was that really necessary to this? If 
for that matter, why is the challenge based on the number of animals saved when the number of animals saved is the exact same for every capsule, but then make the goal number of animals not match the number needed for, like, I can never get exactly 100 animals. Let me put it like that. The number, it should have been, if I needed to get this many, it should have been either 10 animals per capsule or like, I don't know, 140 animals total if I needed to get, say, 10 capsules. It, it just, it, the, it, the math is weird and it doesn't need to be weird. And I don't know why they felt compelled to do it this way. Granted, the same argument can be made in the other one of these uh, challenges. And I am just as confused about that one. All right. Get the thing. Okay. Just get to the end. There we go. Another challenge down. Still one more challenge for uh, Classic Wisp. Hmm. Not quite sure where to go for it, though. Where is it? Maybe over here? No? Ah, here it is. With your powers combined, use the Aqua Thunder and Flame Shields. Oh, that's... That's a cool idea. Use all of the flame, all, uh, flame, all of the elemental shields. Yeah. So yeah, like here. Nope, I need the flame shield next. Whoa, 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 whoa. I wasn't trying to use the flame shield's effect there. All right, thunder shield, because I need to be immune to lightning. Keep moving. Whoa. Let's keep the thunder shield going. The double jump can be useful. Oh no, no, no. I need I need the bubble for the stompy. Yo! Okay. Already seeing some things I can do to uh expedite things a bit. Clearly, I need some fire, followed by the thunder! Oh, come on. All right, follow the thunder. Follow the fire. Follow the what? What is even going on now? I, I have no idea. I have a feeling I'm... Yeah, I'm not going to get the S here. This is a tough one, because I it's like a puzzle, but it more... It, it's The puzzle part isn't what's hard. It's easy to figure out what you need to do. It's just needing to make sure you know what you need and how, where to get it when. You know what I mean? Got to do 15... It, uh, sorry, 16 seconds better. I think I can do that. What the heck? Why?
don't go bubble shield. Always was my favorite of the three. All right, that takes care of the classic Wisp challenges and the last of classic Sonic challenges in general. Or it this way. Oh. Okay, hold on. Got it. Okay. That just leaves the modern era. Four challenges to be done, plus one that just needs another S rank. Planet Wisp Doppelganger Race. Let's get it out of the way now. This is probably the one I'm most scared of. That alone. Ugh. Can I do this segment in 30 seconds? I don't think I can because of the rockets. The rocket animation on its own is gonna eat up my time. I was off by over 20 seconds. Oh, this is a hard one. We did it. Whew. That one, that one took a while. That one took a while. I mean, funny enough, I don't think it took more than like five tries, but man, each one needed to get like, it felt like it had to be a near perfect run, which it obviously didn't. It didn't have to be the, the, that far near perfect, but I don't know. Something about that time limit felt very stringent, and I think it was just because of the rocket animation taking up as much time as it did. 
Speaking of rockets, let's go on ahead and do this since I'm here. So, this is the one that I've already done. I just gotta do it fast. Okay, first one's pretty easy. This one, I remember I need to find the right spot. It's this one. Okay, so I can save a little bit of time on future attempts with that. Let's just rock it up here. So far, this is very straightforward. And I'm wondering where it's going to drop effectively. Go! Well, I'm definitely going to want that. Okay, go this way. Up. One. Two. Three. I choose... This way. I think I chose poorly. Okay, so when I'm given the choice of left or right there, go left. Uh, I don't know what the heck I was doing there, but I was not doing it right. Okay, go this way. How much farther is it to the goal? Oh, right. I remember that the goal ring is like... Yeah, I gotta break the... Oh, my lord! I actually did it! With half a second to spare! Dang! Okay. Here I was trying to strategize for my inevitable defeat. Turns out my defeat was not so inevitable. Okay, that put me in a good mood. Now to figure out how to get to the last challenges. I think I need to go all the way to the other side. Yeah, I gotta go all the way to the other side. There's only two challenges left, dang it. And again, it's so stupid. In order to get to the last challenges of Planet Wisp, I need to go up through Crisis City. This is really silly. Ugh. Oh well. What do we got here? Action Master. Wall jump, stomp, and light speed dash your way to the goal before time runs out. Okay, so this is kind of like the Elemental Shield challenges, just using modern Sonic's moves. Nice. Ooh. I also just now noticed the difference in Sky here. It's like, and this is following the trend of the stages that do things differently. You know, like, you know, there's, like, day stages that go to night and vice versa. But Planet Wisp, it's like, it's like a misty dusk or something. I don't know. It's interesting. It kind of lends to the alien nature of the planets. The, like, pale lavender sky that it's got going on here. I was supposed to uh, press B there, and I didn't. Yeesh! So this challenge ends at a minute 20, and I just kind of fell off a cliff. All right, let's, let's just see what was left. I don't think I have any hope of winning after that, but let's see what was left, shall we? Okay, you know what? No. Once I'm willing to try it and keep going twice, uh-uh. I don't know why that's happening. I've never had that happen in the main stage. Like, not even when I'm rushing. Hit that button. Yeah, the buttons seem to be what disable these flame jets. There. Did that better this time anyway. Oh, yeah. Two whole seconds better. For it. Jump! Ha! Remember to hit B that time. Okay. Press Y. Zoom. Let's maybe wait a little bit. There we go. That time the drift worked. Woohoo! Light speed dash! 
I love the feeling of a really long light speed dash like that. It's awesome. See, I am digging this mission. This this challenge gate. Like the being able to chain between all these various abilities of modern Sonic, so much fun. That was a great challenge gate. I loved that. Ah oh, man. That was a good one for the last uh last world. Alright, two gates left. I'll do you last. Cart challenge, ride the cart and get to the goal. Okay, we're making use of the carts. I'm okay with this. Just gotta wait for Mr. The Cart and... I got a hostage! The hostage had me! Let's uh, start over. This time without kidnapping. Come on, mister. Yeah, no kidnapping, only death, only murder. There we go. Ha-ha! <laughs> Boost! Ooh, a clock. <laughs> Whoa! Alright, well, I'm down here now. Oh, that was dumb. Ah, didn't need it anyway. Just like I don't need that switch. Not when I got buzz bombers to bounce. Okay, let's ride this cart and go! You know, so far I've gotta say, Planet Wisp definitely had some of the scarier challenges in it with those doppelganger races and the rocket one. But it's also had some of the more entertaining ones. Like the one we just got out of, I'm really digging this one. And wonky as it was, I liked the Blaze one too, where we were having to chase down Blaze in a maze. That was a clever idea. Shoot, the Elemental Shield challenges was neat too. This one has a lot of amazing challenges in it, mixed in with all of the actual challenged uh, challenge gates, or challenging challenge gates. I don't know why I said challenged. Probably because I've felt challenged. Speaking of, almost got it. Let's try that again. Let's try that again, again. Oh, that saves so much time. Holy crap, that saves so much time. I knew that getting on that cart was gonna be faster. I didn't think it would be that much faster. Okay, well, if I lose this one, I have no excuse. But if by some bizarre twist of cruel fate I do, there is a clock that I missed. And I saw it, so. I know I can get a better time regardless. Um, you know that cruel twist of fate I just mentioned? I think I found it. Possibly. I don't know, that yellow clock might also have just salvaged it. Well, we will find out momentarily. Because this should be the last card. And yeah, I've got 25 seconds. I got this. Even without that yellow clock, I would have made it with falling off. <laughs> that was neat. That was neat. I like that. Got the artwork. That just leaves one. One challenge left to do. And it's Charmy B. High into the sky. Press Y to call Charmy to create a path so you can reach the goal in time. Okay, so Charmy is helping us in this one, which makes sense. Uh, sure. What? Oh! 
He's making platforms? That's what he's doing? Dang, okay. I Gotta admit, I didn't expect that. It also kind of makes me jump up briefly. Uh, okay, going. Gotta watch out for those laser grids up above me. Boost! Dang it, I thought I could do that without using Charmy. So how far do I need to go with this, I wonder? Let's just boost up. There we go. Get that clock. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, let's keep going then. Uh-oh. Well, the good news is I didn't lose. The bad news is I probably lost the S rank from doing that. This is a neat ability to uh, make use of, though. I'll say that. I like this a lot more than when Charmy was trying to murder us with hi fire hydrants. Going up. Keep on going up into the spike. Oh. And there's the goal. That was extremely easy. <laughs> but that's that. That is the final challenge. All challenge gates done and at S. And all worlds have been fully restored. Get that last musical note. Got it. Diamond Dust Zone. And I guess that's pretty much it, isn't it? Well, not quite. Because there's one thing that I had completely forgotten about. And by forgotten, I mean didn't know about. Until at one point when I accidentally pressed up on one of these pre-recording. The bosses have hard modes. Like, I knew that the like Metal Sonic and Shadow and Silver had them. I didn't know the regular bosses did, too. And I think that's a great way to finish off the series. So I'm going to go buy the last couple of skills from Omo Chow just to have the skill shop emptied. And then next time on Sonic Generations, we're going to have ourselves a little boss rush. Because why not? I'm kind of looking forward to just kind of blitzing through them all and seeing how they change on hard mode. I am going to try to get an S rank on them, but I'm not going to bend over backwards for it like I did with the challenge gates. Maybe. We'll see. I honestly don't know at this point, but I'll worry about that next time. Until then, thanks again, everyone, so much for watching. Goodbye.